Celebrating the world's best dabs. Son, this is whiskey. Try some. Okay, thanks, Dad. What are you doing? Uh, nothing, honey. Sure, Dad may forget birthdays, graduations, even your fourth grade piano recital. But he'll never forget to tell you. You're doing that wrong. No, I'm not, Dad. Yes, you are. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of DadCast. I am your host, JP, joined along with my ever so handsome co-host, Nick Martin. Hello, Nick. How's it going? It's growing great. It's growing? <laughs> it's growing. <laughs> What's growing? Your you know what? Don't answer that question. Yeah. Don't our, answer that our question. Follow, our followers. Your there followers and your likes. Well, that is it. absolutely Unreal. true. And yeah. we have the pleasure to be joined with a singer-songwriter. An amazing friend, a Latino lover, I am, <laughs> <laughs> and one hell of a model American, and most importantly, an amazing dad, Mr. Frankie Hernandez. Well, hello to you. How are you, sir? I'm um, great, man. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, we're stoked to have you, man. We've I've been actually looking forward to this episode for quite some time. We've been hyping it up for a few weeks, yes. and oh, yeah. um, I'm just glad you're here before all the mayhem that's going to start with DadCast <laughs> gets in, because we might not be able to book people here coming soon. I'm, I'm glad I got in right at the right time. <laughs> you, yes, did. you did. Well, it's, I, I saw you guys you know, posting and you're doing the DadCast thing. I'm like, well, that's number one, that's a cool name. You know, uh, so I, I looked it up. I, That's all JP. <laughs> and, and and I call up. I was like, hey, man, I got an album coming out. Can I, can I come on? And then since I started following you guys, like, it's grown exponentially. And, like, we got Randy Couture coming. I'm like, no, that's – they're, they're messing with me. They, they have to be messing with me. And Stormy and – Yeah. Like, Brad Young. Wow. Randy yeah. Couture is uh, – it looks like we're going to meet with him later next month. I say next month, but we're almost in a new month. But that's about yeah. two or three weeks away. Yeah. And, and, you know, we got Jordan Farmar, NBA champion from the Lakers, coming up. We got the guys from Lit coming up. We've got. Uh, didn't you say uh, Barack Obama's coming on, Nick? Not yet. No, no, but you're working on it. I am. I've, I've tweeted him a couple of times. <laughs> no, I'm not getting anything back though. I, we should get Barack and Trump in at the same time. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you, and a little and and some Alex Jones. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> How cool would that be? That would be craziness. But forget those guys. Those guys are nothing That's compared right. to the man we have sitting exactly. in the chair today, oh, man. We're Mr. Neighbors. Frankie Hernandez. So, sir, um, I always ask the question. Of course, it's kind of a prerequisite that you need to be a dad to be on the show or a single mother who plays the role of both. We have yet to have said single mother on the show. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If there's any ladies out there uh, that would Oregon, like to be. A few. Well, we're talking celebrity single moms. <laughs> All right. There we go. You there, know what there, I'm saying? There's, there's a few of those, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many kids do you have? I have three children. Uh Five, including stepchildren. All right. Ages, yeah. boys, girls, a uh, little of both. What do we got? A little of both. The girls are uh, my wife's oldest. It will be 20 next month. My oldest uh, will be 18 next month. And then her son will be 13. And then my little boys are five and seven. Wow. You got a full plate, man. Oh, man. How's that? How's that? How's that ride? How's that experience? It's, is it great being a dad? Oh, it's it's a, it really truly is the best thing that ever happened to me, and, and it's always the first thing I say. Like if you ever hear me complain, you miss the part where I say it was the best thing that. Ever <laughs> right, I think we all fall along that sometime. I mean, gosh, it was not even last night where you know what what was it? My my son Sawyer, if you're listening to this podcast episode, I apologize for telling the world what you did last night, but oh boy. but we're gonna. So I. I when I say these words and I say he stole from me, yeah, you immediately raise an eyebrow and go, oh, my gosh, what, what, what are you talking about? That's, that's craziness. But uh, it turns out that he just – I had my credit card linked to a, uh, a Facebook gaming center, and he, he purchased a $2 thing. But the thing is, is he needed to know the code. And he knew the code because I gave it to him like a day before, and he took it upon himself to buy something, and, well, he got in trouble for that. And, you know, anyhow. But I still love the kid. I still love being his dad, and it's the greatest thing in the whole wide world. Yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yes. So you're a musician. Yes. In fact, gosh, we're going on 20 years knowing each other now, give or take. It's getting up there, yeah. Yeah. Uh, back when I used to work on 96.9 The Rogue is when I was introduced to, I believe at the time, it was I, it was. Were you doing a band in 2005, or was it just the Frankie Hernandez band? Uh, 2005, I just moved here. Okay. Right, right, at, the, right at the end. So oh. that's right. So we've known each other as long as we've both been in Oregon. Yeah. Amazing. And 
I was absolutely captivated by I, I, I was I was walking down the street and there's a bar show going on and I heard a trumpet. <laughs> I heard a trumpet coming from somewhere and I love I played a trumpet as a child all the way up until high school. I swear to God I was be as good if not better than you today if I had kept it up during high school, but I decided that wasn't the cool thing to do back then and I kicked my ass every day because I didn't. Football football is probably the single most reason that I'm the best trumpet player now. Yeah. <laughs> well, because all the good ones quit to play football, right? Right. Well, see, and that's exactly what I did. Then got injured, didn't go back to playing the music, and then, you know, marijuana ruled my life, and there yeah, you are. Here we are. Oh, here, we are. <laughs> here we are, all living where it grows With so easily. A bunch of kids. How long have you been playing the instruments, and how many of them do you play? Uh, I play most everything to some degree. Uh, but trumpet, I start was the very first. It's my first love, and we started together at age twelve. Oh wow! See, I was that's what's about sixth, yeah. fifth grade, sixth grade, sixth, sixth grade. Yeah, I started in third grade. That's buzzing. That's what I keep hearing. Mm. Nick's got his dang phone on like airline mode, and it's vibrating the table, which is vibrating and the he's microphone. Very I'll popular. Let it, I'll let it vibrate my leg. You know, you know, you need to turn the notifications off because I know this problem, man. My phone has just been buzzing off the hook for the past three weeks. It's legitimately my phone. It's not my notifications. Okay, people well, are texting me. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right, man. It's. I'm just saying. It's I don't a know good if you know thing. This, I'm kind of a big deal. Wait, wait. Well, you're getting there, my friend. You are absolutely getting there. I was in third grade when I started playing the trumpet. Oh wow. Yeah, and uh, I was pretty gosh darn good at it. And then in fifth grade, I got to play for the mayor of Thousand Oaks, California, because hey. the school teacher was trying to push for more funding for elementary school music, which to this day, I'm all about, you know, that, yeah. you know, if you want to fund music or sports, I'm going to fund the music if it's me. But yeah, uh, yeah I did, did well, did all the way up through junior high. And then, like I said, quit in high school, but I was real good. And then I didn't play for like 20 years and I picked up that trumpet and all and everything I learned, gone. Really? Not even the B-flat scale? Oh, I, I could do my scale. Okay. No problem. Everybody but, can do But that. I couldn't, those notes that I could hit before with getting those lips all super duper tight and oh, the, and the yeah. strength it takes in those muscles, gone. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was pretty sad that day. Brass, brass is unforgiving when you don't play. Man, it is. But, yeah. man, you are so... Um, did you bring the trumpet in today? I didn't. Okay, you brought the guitars. That's all right. That's probably a good idea. We've got other people working in this building. <laughs> and... Uh, as beautiful as awesome it would be, it might be annoying for them, but you did definitely bring in some guitar, so we are going to hear some Frankie Hernandez music. Yes, yes. I am going to drop a seed right now with you, Frankie. All right. Am I talking too much? Oh, man, it happens all the time. Uh, <clears throat> Babylon, would love to hear that damn song sometime today. If that, if you could work that into, in, into your, even just a snippet of it. All right, I, I think I can play a piece of it. I it's love that. Time. I know. Remember the last time I made you play it? It was when you came into K, yeah, uh, it, KBOY. It, yep, 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 yep. It was that probably the last time you played it, huh? I think it, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your journey as, as, a, as a dad and a musician. Have your kids taken up? How old is your oldest child? Uh, she, she'll be 18 next 18. Month. Is yeah. she very musical at all? Oh, she's very creative. Yeah. Uh, actually, she has a really nice voice. Um, so she still sings in the, in the choir and the Rogue Valley Chorus and they're Ashlyn High, um, but she, she, she writes a lot of fan fiction. So she, she's, she's always writing. She's always drawing. Um, just super talented. Uh, when I was I, the last time that I was able to teach uh, a songwriting class, like for kids, uh, I think over at the at Pacifica there in the Applegate, mm -hmm. did a little music camp, and so she came and she was in it, and I was just I was astounded that she actually knew how to put songs together. I was like, oh, she's she's paying attention. And I even heard her talking to one of her little writer friends, and she said the words, word economy, which when 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 I'm talking about songwriting, because you, you only have, you know, what, a verse, a chorus, another verse, maybe a bridge. That's all of, what, 80 words? Right. How, how do you create emotion in, in 80 to 100 words? It's word economy, you know, figuring out, Telling telling a cohesive story and evoking emotion with within the space of a breath because that each, each time each time you sing a phrase that's just one little breath yeah so um, and to hear her say that I was like that's a proud daddy that's yeah. my kid that's amazing man <laughs> that's that's why I love this podcast Nick talking about 
the things and the, it feels as a dad and, and the things that make us proud, the things that piss us off, exactly. the things that and just all of them wrapped into everything. It's, uh, well, you're bold because, uh, you know, like she's 17 and, yeah. and uh, getting her license still. And, uh, and you posted your little driving experience, and I would not. Oh, did I? <laughs> I? I was talking about posting it. In fact, I was telling Dustin Clark of Fogline yeah. in the last week's episode how she got my, my oldest got her permit. Oh, yeah. And the first day we went out, I was going to put it on Facebook Live, and that was a very poor decision on my part. Oh, see, I do. I just yeah. I go for it. If, yeah, you did. If, but, I, if I'm going to die, I, I want it on camera. Yeah, but your daughter didn't decide to run a stop sign and go into cross traffic no, on no, her no, first she, time driving. She, oh, she wow. decided to take the corner getting onto the freeway at five miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's that. <laughs> yes, death from behind. Step right. on the gas. Yeah. Step on the gas, yeah, little girl. Let's go. Let's go. Go. No, Dad. No. Have you Come on. have you taught? Is she so she's driving yet? Or yeah, she she's. We're 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 make, we're marking the hours behind the wheel. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so I, that I, that old old goal to a hundred, right? Oh man, I live out in Eagle Point, and she had never been above twenty five. So her first experience getting up to fifty five was was on the country road that goes to my house, uh-huh. and there was a little bit of this, and you know, there's there's no shoulders; it's the country. It just drops right off right. into the irrigation ditches, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I asked her to do this. <laughs> right? Oh, it's scary. It's so scary. And it's funny because the things that we take for granted, driving, how, I mean, all the little things, like when you're going much faster, the tiny touch of the wheel veers the car versus going real slow. You got to really yank on that son bitch. They don't realize that. No. And so you're going 55 and she wants to turn and all of a sudden she does it just a little bit, and all of a sudden you're, you know, rolled 20 times in a field. Man, we didn't yeah. get there yet, but no, it I've, felt yeah, close. Yeah, it's I've had a lot of close calls too. It's not, not well, fun. I that, try, I like, I make my wife take them. I'm like, you, uh, know what? you have more patience than I do. Yeah, yeah, the, the world needs me. I wish I could do that, my lady. <laughs> I have to beg and plead and push and prod and pull and pull some teeth to get her to go do it because. She has anxiety driving herself. Yeah. I was Can you born. imagine how it would be taking the brand new, just permitted driver who's never, no experience? No. With. Mm. So she's got, so I'll, you know, I'll do most of that. I always play the dad cast card. I'm like, babe, I've got this. I got work to do. I've got this work. I've got this podcast thing going. <laughs> you know, Randy Couture is going to be on. We <laughs> should, you know what, for, for just an experiment on this exact episode, okay? This is what we're going to do, Nick. You ready? What are we going to do? Um, as soon as we're done recording, and we say goodbye to our awesome friend Frankie here. Uh-huh. You are going to spend the next four days editing and putting this video up <laughs> and audio. And I'm going to spend the next four days contacting managers and talking to celebrities and, and doing social media again. Are you still pissed that Randy didn't give me your, your Yes, I'm pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> it's my sneaky way to get all their phone numbers just so I could say I have them. I, 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 I tried. I will, I will get it to you, I promise. Okay. okay. I'm telling you it's important. Is it not important, Frankie, that well, the producer okay. gets to talk to the guests to figure out what they should do prior? I, I, I Call me crazy, well, but that's we, important. we got a little bit to go in here. I don't want to quite take sides yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just figure, you know, maybe you guys have a crystal you could fight over in the center. And I, you, I do more than you. I do more than oh, you. you know, you switch bodies. I think, I think JP yeah. actually does a lot more than I do. I, I would disagree. Really? Yeah, and, and that's the beauty, oh, that beautiful thing. that so healthy. The, yeah, the supportive. relationship him and I have, I mean, so far, has been nothing but symbiotic and perfect. I mean, you just heard it. He thinks I do more. Yeah. Well, I do a lot when it comes to the technical side yeah. of things, you know, the editing, the the filming and, and making everything sound good, which is probably very important when it comes yeah. to a podcast, right? Sure. Right. You Got think it. So yeah. But the the un, underappreciated part, which yeah. I think a lot of people don't get, is Nick is booking celebrity guests and has yeah. the connections and the know how and the I mean it's up to it you got us a manager, you got us all these huge guests, you got Frankie Hernandez in here, you but it wouldn't have happened without your production. Oh, he's so, so polite. So there's that. There's, yeah. it, it's a give and take. There, well, I mean, know. and that's that's the artist dilemma. You know, that that's as live, living as an artist. Like you have you have this natural generosity. You have this creativity. Like you would you would make it look good and sound good. And for who? You know, Bes- right? Besides you. Yeah. You know, and then there's that part of like, okay, well, I want to do this for money so that I can buy better gear, make it look better, make it sound better, have fun people to talk to. And and who would ever know if someone wasn't staying organized? Right. You know, 
I'm the Frankie Hernandez band. I got to do, I got to do it all. I mean, fortunately, you know, I'm in an amazing marriage, you know? And so, and then that's the other unspoken half is like the ladies that support you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think if our, if our women didn't support us, I don't think this would be a, this wouldn't even be a thing. You're making how much? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. you're, you're gonna you're gonna lose your job over this <laughs> you're gonna what wait whoa hold on thankfully i'm not in that position but uh no wait, 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 i'll tell you what it, it what is it? it is march 30th 2021 uh on march on april 1st uh that's april fool's day on april 2nd 2022 nick if i am not driving a tesla I have a feeling it's going to happen a lot sooner than that. But, uh, <laughs> let's get back to let's get Frankie. Back to Frankie. All right. this Frankie, is Frankie's I the dad. Goals. I know. Sharing our goals. Well, on April 2nd, I start my uh, my crowdfunding campaign for the upcoming record. We're talking two days from now? Two days from now. Okay. Oh, wow. The date of this recording for the record, the date of this which recording. will probably end up being like six days ago if you're listening to this right now, <laughs> or possibly even a month ago if you're taking your time. Um, so tell us about that crowdfunding. Well, I'm doing a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, I started a new project um, called That Guy at My Church, and it's a, it's a contemporary Christian gospel um, worship record. And uh, it's called Shouting in the Wilderness, and starting on, like I said, on April 2nd, I'll start the crowdfunding to just invite people in, into my vision of it. You know, it's, it's, it's saying, okay, well, the single's going to come out on this date, the rest of the record's going to come out on this date, um, you know, going out and making a music video or actually a few um, at the same time, building up my home studio so that there can always be uh, an outpouring of Frankie Hernandez music. Awesome. So you said you're going to make some music videos. You bought a camera, man. I did. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Right, right there. Well done. I, I know a guy who suggested the camera you buy and you yeah. actually went out and bought it. Trained so I really do hope it works out well for you. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. And, and, and it's one of those things like you're learning. You can't you, you can you can wear all the hats that you want to and do what you can do well. But at, at the end of the day, there's a, there's this, this specialized skill set you have. And it's okay to farm out some of the work. Absolutely, right? <laughs> and if you need some help, YouTube, man. You just put in the name oh, of that camera, so YouTube, amazing. tutorial, beginner, and you will fall down the deepest rabbit hole you have okay. ever seen. And All you're right. going to come out the other side a pro. It's crazy. Yeah. This crowdfunding, where can people go? Is it a website? Um, it, it will be. Uh, okay. I get, I, get, I, get my, I get my link today because I submitted about a week ago. All right. Um, but so, but any, if you stay tuned, anything Frankie Hernandez music, my Instagram, Facebook, um, that guy at my church, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube channels. Um, and we'll share it on. Dad yeah, all that information. Channel, thanks, yeah. guys. By the time this thing is edited, I will put a link to it right. It's going to be right here. All right. Okay, it's going to be right. Okay. And that's, that's right me. here somewhere. <laughs> there you go. All right. So. Are you going to play some music for us? You want to do that now, a little Hold later? I, 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 oh, Nick, so wait, take the conch. All right. So what brought you to worship gospel music? I, I've got to know. Uh, well, it, it's, been a, it's been a long road. It's been a totally long road. Like, I was, I was raised Catholic. Okay. Uh, I was, like, priest tracked from when I was, like, 8 to 14, 15 years old, uh, mostly just because I think I can memorize things. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then, you know, I learned about the no sex thing. <laughs> and, and around right? <laughs> and around 14, 15, that started to just ring more and more than uh, about the glory of Jesus and all that. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, learning the, the history of, of the Catholic Church and all churches, because they're all steeped in just, it's it's a bloody road we all come from. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm like, okay, no sex. They've killed millions of people that look like me. <laughs> and, uh, right? <laughs> and one of my friends just committed suicide and how did... God stop that. And just right. all this and and the the setup of our culture is it has it it kind of leans toward intellect the intellectual superiority of of atheism. Mm-hmm. And and it, it, it's, it's you seem a lot cooler when you're like these guys are stupid. <laughs> uh and and I and I bought into that and it and it's fine, you know, like I I learned what I learned as an athe- as an atheist, as a Buddhist, as, you know, someone following inside the new age and the creating your own reality like I never stopped wanting to be a good person. And it's kind of in our, it's in our subconscious that we want, like we want to be good and the back of our mind, we know we should have some sort of relationship with God. However, we understand God, just like, you know, when we know we want to be thin, you know, it's like, well, we know what we're supposed to do, but maybe we do it and maybe we don't. And we have reasons for it all. 
Um, That's the case is because burritos for me. Oh, fried chicken. That's <laughs> why <laughs> so I'm not a supermodel. <laughs> and I, I could stand to grow a couple more inches and oh. uh, shave off 20 years, I guess. Well, we ain't doing that. But the pounds, I suppose, <laughs> if we, we gave it a shot. It always comes up in every podcast. I got to do something about it. You, well, so Without getting up at 2 a.m. with you, Nick. Before Vegas, too, because I, okay. I don't want you to die. You want me to lose 60 pounds in three weeks? That will kill me. Lose 20 pounds. Just I don't want you to die when Farmer kicks your ass playing basketball. Oh, that's saying. all right. Don't worry. I'll, oh, this is happening. It is happening. Well, he wants us to play one-on-one, and my idea is to play two-on-one. Nick and I versus Jordan. <laughs> and, and even if we do that, we're still going to get our asses kicked. And I, I think that, that makes sense because the height... Yeah, right, you put you if you stand stand you on top of me. Yeah, exactly, we'll be as tall as Jordan. Yes. Uh, that's a perfectly acceptable loss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's also ten years younger than me at yeah. this point, and he's retired from the NBA. But yeah, yeah, yeah we're getting off track again. Okay, yeah, track. that happens. All right, Frankie. All right, okay. Frankie. So, so back to so back to the, back to, to things. Music. So yeah. I ended up uh, getting a job down down the street here at the um, at the Methodist Church. Um, the Pastor at the time was looking to hire someone that wasn't very churchy, and I was absolutely that. Very churchy. <laughs> That's so. That should be a song right there. Yeah. Churchy. I'm not very churchy. Okay, go on. And I'm not. You know, even still. Um, and so it just he was a very eloquent speaker, and just got me. You know, but by by this point, you know, I, I'd sit where a lot of people in the new age do. I'm like, oh well, you know, like Jesus was a great teacher, brah. And, you know, so there, there was, there was healthy respect and being, yeah. you know, being raised with the stories, like there was, there was a homecoming for me and like learning all the other stories and, and all, you know, the other philosophies of, of how to attain enlightenment or be at peace or whatever, whatever language, whatever the goal is in, in other spiritual systems, like to come home and, and, and be with the garden of Eden and, and the parting of the seas and the resurrection. It was just like, wow, I really really miss these stories. Uh, and so to, to get to come in and pour in intellectually and put everything in into the context of, of learning a, a book, the book, you know, like there's a whole system of, of ethics, like unquestionable ethics. Like when, you know, you know, when, you know, when you're not, when your heart isn't right and just having the courage to say my heart isn't right. And, and right now, like when th- things have gotten crazy, and and I don't feel like I like for me like I I'll never be able to to judge or to know for anyone else. But I know for me that that I couldn't have made it through this past year year and a half if my heart wasn't right. Um, so in 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 growing in my my knowledge and and my intimacy with with my spiritual practice. And I wrote these amazing songs because I didn't always feel like, well, there's, there isn't always something that speaks to me. Like there's a lot of songs about, Oh Jesus, we love you and you're the best. And this is all I ever need. And that, and that's valid and it's cool. But that didn't speak to me when I was coming in and coming back and, and, and looking at my, my own, like, well, did Jesus know how, how I was as a musician, you know, they know all those dirty things I did all those, <laughs> all those times. And like, where, where's my place? Where's that song? Right. You know, like mm-hmm. of, of how, of how I'm not perfect and I'm not close and I never will be, but I want to just be loved. And that's, that, that's where I'm coming from is it's just inviting people into that love. Um, so, yeah. so so would you say it's more of like a switch foot type thing where they're a bunch of Christian dudes, but they're not a Christian band, but they're singing uplifting songs? Um, no, the, the, this particular, I mean, that's going to be true. That's true for the Frankie Hernandez stuff because I okay. never, you know, I never sang about butts or right. drugs. Right. Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were a pretty clean artist. Yeah. It was never, oh, absolutely. It, was, it was always uplifting. So it was, yeah, because because yeah. you know, because at the end of the day, we all want we all want to be good. Right. You know, we all want to be good. We all want to be in good shape. We all want to be able to, to take care of our children the best way we can. Mm. Um, and it's just, uh, for me, it's about aligning myself centrally, spiritually, so that I could stand up and do all of those things. Okay. Um, cool. And so this this record, that's why I invented the that guy at my church band, so that I could do, so I could not take all these, you know, amazing Frankie Hernandez fans that, uh, that I've built and then just run them into this Jesus pole because that's that's right. not, because the first the first impulse is to think oh well Jesus means that I'm bad and that's it's number one it's not true. 
but it's not what I'm trying to do in anybody. So if you want to come and get the same Frankie Hernandez music, like it's there. I'll keep making that in, until I die. Um, but then there's this other thing uh, that that people are absolutely welcome to come and be a part of, and they know what it know what it's going to be. Um, so yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be a true musician, in my opinion, if you didn't expand and diverge and and try different things. Oh sure, and yeah. you know, especially with what's going on in your personal life now. I mean, that is that's the road that as a musician <laughs> did pa- it, that's this is completely normal man right yeah this is what happens and i look forward to hearing some of that music are you um are you ready to play something for us sure. yet or are you want to because i'd like to hear something sure I'll, something new definitely. right all right so yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll play i'll play you a couple i'll play one from that's coming out on the, on the new record yes uh and then i'll play one it's a new one that's it's still a frankie hernandez thing and there's some christianese in the language that it's still it. It's still good. It's still me. I'm still the of same. Of course, person it is, I man. Swallowed no Kool Aid. <laughs> Jesus isn't my only light and salvation, and I'm not ever gonna not play in a bar again. That's. <laughs> a lot of people just showed up out of nowhere, Frankie. So weird. <laughs> I love it. So I, I, you go. Get ready for this. This. You're in for a treat. Frankie Hernandez playing some tunes. Uh, that thing is going to pick up everything just great. Okay, already. And uh, I just sing real loud. Okay. All right. I know the God I pray. This prayer most every day Some version just depends on the day You know that I do It's not the words I say Or the thoughts I relay I know I just want to stay Connected to you It's always gratitude Asking forgiveness, show me my smallness, show me your bigness. It's guide me and it's teach me, and I just wanna come home. God, I say please, 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 and all of the thank yous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the wrong that I do. I don't feel like enough. I need you to lift me up. And it's praise, praise, praise you. For Like Jesus before me Thank you for all that you do With my pleas and thank yous My pleas and thank yous I know that you know best When you deny my request I've learned that I will end up blessed And it rests in your hands When others take a fall I get to answer the call And I would pray for them all If I was given the chance It's always gratitude Asking forgiveness Show me my smallness Show me your bigness It's guide me and it's teach me And I just want to come home God, I say please, please, please I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the wrong that I do I don't feel like enough I need you to lift me up And it's praise, praise, praise you For all of your glories Raise, raise, raise me Like Jesus before me Thank you for all that you do With my pleas and thank yous My job is today Your job is tomorrow My job is to pray You paid for my sins and sorrow My job is today Your job is tomorrow My job is to pray You paid for my sins Paid for my sins and sorrow Please, 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 and all of the thank yous. I'm sorry, I'm 
sorry for the wrong that I do I don't feel like enough I need you to lift me up And it's praise, praise, praise you for all of your glories Raise, raise, raise me like Jesus before me Thank you for all that you do With my pleas and thank you Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Hernandez, or that guy from the church. That guy from my church. That guy from my church. Amazing, man. You so good. Wow. It doesn't matter what you sing to me. Oh, man. It, 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 it gives me the heebie-jeebies every single time, and you are one of my favorite guys around here to play music. Oh, Definitely. keep it up. Got anything else? Let's do it. Yeah, so this one, uh, this one I, I wrote uh, probably about a year ago, and uh, it's coming up a pretty gnarly little breakup, you know, because those happen. They do. I haven't had one for a while. Thank That's God. Good. I don't I'll, think I'll, I'll ever have one again. I'll never have one again. Yeah. Not one of those. I mean, my heart will break for different reasons. Fair enough. Um, but uh, not not for this one. All right. This one's called uh, "I'm Your Guy," which will come out on the next Frankie Hernandez record. Oh, available on iTunes everywhere. Yeah, we're thinking right around Croptober. Croptober. That sounds fair enough. Especially coming from around here. I need your loving. You break me open. Nothing means nothing without you, without you, without you. I would never give you up, I would only let you in Whatever your demand is, oh the plan is Baby you can count me in I, I'm your genie, magical and steamy Grant your wishes, I can make you fly I'm your guy I'm your guy you're my mama, true love. You know that you're my true love. When I wake up, baby, you're what I was dreaming of. You got the vision and you got the style. You got the booty and you got the smile. All that I could ask for, front on the back door. No matter what you serve me, I need more of that hustler, lady of God. You ain't easy, nah, nah, nah. Making me crazy, make me wait. Feels like heaven, it feels like fate. You don't want to be kept, well, that's just fine. Open up, please. Give me some of your sunshine. Your sunshine I would never give you up I would only just give in Whatever your demand is Oh, the plan is Baby, you can count me in I'm your genie Magical and steamy Grant your wishes I can make you fight I'm your guy I'm your guy I used to feel like your poppy chulo, but you make me feel like a pain in the culo. All that I give, I give in love, I give in grace like God up above. I ain't no saint like Jesus, but the Holy Spirit sees us. Raising our glasses, raising our kids, raising our hearts, making a bid for a future we nurture. Living out loud, not a murmur. The dark before the dawn only worsens. But when the sun comes through, I'm telling you, I'm your person, your person, your person. I would never give you up, I would only just give in. Whatever your demand is, oh, the plan is, baby, you can count me in. I'm your genie, magical and steamy, grant your wishes, I can make you fly. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. I need your loving. You break me open. Nothing, nothing means nothing without you, without you, without you. 
I need your loving. You break me open. Nothing, nothing means nothing without you, 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 without you. I would never give you up, I would only just give in. Whatever your demand is, hope the plan is, baby, you can count me in. I'm your genie, magical and steamy, grant your wishes, I can make you fly. I'm your guy. Yeah! <laughs> You're my guy. Oh, well, I'm not your guy. Here we go. Anyway, fantastic, Frankie, as oh, always. So and that's new stuff. You know, I was just sitting there and just fully engulfed, and you can tell because you'll see it on that camera. <laughs> I What was going through my head is I have had so little live music. Oh, man. And in my life, and now two weeks in a row, I've had someone come in, sit in that seat, and play some songs. Granted, we're in a tiny little perfectly soundproof room. <laughs> But, but it's, still awesome. it's still live. It's still in front of me, and it it I miss it so much. I think we all do. Oh, it's killing me, man. But what? it's slowly returning. Do, do you have any shows coming up aside from uh, aside from Friday? Well, the next couple I have coming up are um, what do I have? Oh, uh, the fifteenth. The fifteenth, I have a live show over at the um, at Grape Street. Grape Street Bar Street. And Grill. Grape Street Bar and Grill. Such a good place. April fifteenth. April fifteenth. So uh, fri Friday will what is be. That? Is that a Friday night? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. All so, right. So I believe uh, the show over here at the Ghost Light Playhouse on April second, which you'll probably be watching, and you can't come to. I'm sorry, you guys, because right. it'll be past that date. But um, uh, so that that'll be in person and and live uh, on online. That's. Streamed. Friday night. Yeah. yeah. It's Friday night. Uh -huh. Ghost Light. Howie's. Yeah, Howie's. The Ghost Light Playhouse. That's Howie's. Come on. Yeah. It, oh. it's, it, you know, I'll tell you what. I, I, did a, I did a show there a couple months ago, and it yep. was really nice just to be in that room. Oh, right? Like, I, I, that, that room is Are they using magic. The, the bigger side, or is it back the, on the yeah, small side? The stage side. On the stage side. Okay. Yeah. yeah, stage Sweet. side. The wood floors, the oh, brick nice. walls. It, it, just, it still sounds great. Uh, John Wing and... Uh, and all the folks from the Randall Theater are, are running it. It's a, it's a, their whole plan is to be like a community theater, you know, that you can go in and you could buy, you could buy a subscription to and still always be able to get to, you can sit there or you can just buy the content. Right. Um, nice. So they have comedy shows in there. They have us, the, the, the community theater play pieces. It's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, man, um, I've seen so many shows there. Even when I was banned from there for three, four years, I still oh, got yeah, to see a crap ton of shows. That happens. Yeah, it, it, well, I shouldn't, I mean, we won't even go in that topic. Right? It it's been talked about so <laughs> much over We don't need to go over that one again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, that's that's going to be a good show. I might stop in there and see if we can. I know I can. We might yeah. have to do a little double date action on the 15th, I'm thinking. There you go. Double on the 15th. Oh, Grape Street. Yes, that yeah. one. Um, yeah, I got no problem with that. Who's going to babysit, though? We are dads. Uh, we are. Who do you do? You yeah, have a live-in babysitter, Nick. I do. I have a sixteen-year-old. Yeah. Daughter. So do I. I Isn't that great? Say. Yes. <laughs> and I'm about to have a live-in designated driver. Yes. Why did I quit drinking? <laughs> oh. I did the same thing. So I'll be drinking water while uh, we watch. I guess you could drive. Well, I, I told my lady when we were in Florida. I said. It was St. Patrick's Day, and boy, did I have some whiskey. Okay? <laughs> I'm Irish. Jameson, vacation, beach of Florida. It was it was the perfect scenario. And I had a bunch of Jameson. And you know what? Wasn't that bad. You know, normally I get rip-roaring, disgustingly bad hangovers, mm -hmm. and I curse to the day. I'll never drink again. But it wasn't that bad. But you know what I found out about, you know, 1 o'clock in the morning after starting about 5 p.m.? I'm sitting there going, okay, this is fun, but... I'm not having as much fun as I used to mm -hmm. when I go out drinking. And I'm just sitting there looking at her, and she's having a blast. Don't get me wrong. She's she's yeah. doing She Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm like, you know what, darling? I think after tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm done drinking, at least for a while. Yeah. I, and it just it doesn't. 
That was St. Patrick's Day two weeks ago. Oh, just come on. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's not like I have a problem, but you know, it was like you know, Nick stopped drinking a little over a year ago. Yeah, and yeah. and I've wow. got no reason. I just it doesn't. I I didn't have as much fun as I used to That's drinking exactly alcohol, yeah. and the pay. You know, the next morning in recovering, no matter how well I tried to take care of myself during drink of water, 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 it it just wasn't a thing for me mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah. So. We're going to take some time off, and maybe on my birthday, come the end of this year, December, go. we'll have a few drinks and go. But other than, you know, I might have a beer or two here and there. When, sure. you know, it's, yeah. it's, but I'm not actively looking to go out and have a drink anymore. Yeah. It's, I'd rather hang out with my kids. Yeah. I've kind of found it's more fun just to be sober, hang out with the kiddos, and like know what's going on. You know, I was doing these concerts, and it was like I'd get hammered. And not remember mm-hmm. what the hell I was doing. <laughs> so now it's well, like, and concert tickets aren't cheap anymore. No, no, yeah. no, no. The concerts I was throwing, I was. Oh, like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'd be like backstage, just knocking them back, and yeah. just not remember like what. Oh mm. man, what, what am I doing? This is a business. Why am I being an asshole? And, right. Um, Ding, so, ding, 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 ding. First cuss oh, word of the name. Sorry. Oh, my good bad. Job. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm, I mean, that's kudos to all three of us, right? Right, I know. Normally there's a shit in there. Yeah. At least, Thank oh, you. wait. <laughs> well, at least so, five yeah, minutes so, into no, it. No, but. So I consciously chose, like, you know, right. this is, I, I'm older. Like, I, I can't hang like this anymore. So it's like, you know, Boy. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want my friends to be like, oh, there's that, there's Nick. He's going to be an idiot again. Yeah. So it's, it's just a lot more fun. It's, it's a, nice not yeah. to be that guy. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I will admit, I won't have a problem going to a concert. And if a random, you know, little little rolled up J hits yeah. my hits hits <laughs> happens to pop right in front of me. See, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'll, <laughs> you know, puff puff give some bitch. Here we go. You Give know, me a gummy bear. No problem. Ooh, a little CBD action. Yeah. A little, little chewy, a little gummy. A little THC in there too. I'm, yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, All the right. one the Wonder Ones are nice. It is Southern Oregon. Jim Southern Belushi. Oregon. If you're listening, yeah, we'd like we'd like to talk to you too. We'd love to sponsor your. We would like to sponsor you, good sir. <laughs> exactly. How about them apples? All right. <clears throat> wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Are you actively promoting during the middle of a guest Frankie Hernandez show right now, Nick? Promoting what? Promoting another guest to come on. I'm just asking another guest to come on. <laughs> hey, man. We t- we talked about the ones that it, we talked about the ones. From I the know. Past. I'm just we giving. Talk about the ones you, from the future. Have you figured out yet that it, at least. 10 to 15% of the show, I have to give Nick so, some so kind the of one, crap. The one I, thing I, I learned have. from Bossom, yeah. so just start name dropping. Right, Jim exactly, Bushy, Dwayne Aaron Johnson. Aaron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, Joe Barack Rogan. Obama, geez. <laughs> that, that works Gosh. pretty good. Hey, Alex Jones. <laughs> I mean, I would I would never do that. Like, I would never do I never tell anybody about the times that I, I got to play on stage here in, at the Brit with Michael Franti uh, uh. during the hit. Or whenever I opened for Los Lobos and they said, hey, come play trumpet. I don't talk about that. I don't name drop. Right. Like, that's not my style. It's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'd never drop Michael Franti's name either. Who yeah. does that? You know, and that or, one time when Michael Franti called me at home. Yeah, was, you know, was, I know. I mean, and that video is on on my Frankie Hernandez music channel. I mean, I, yeah. Who, who <laughs> do, what kind of self promoter goes and does this sort of stuff? Who I don't know. Drinks with Gavin DeGraw. He I gets know. Him so but, drunk he forgets what right? he's playing at Brit. And who literally <laughs> talked to Brett Young today? I mean, right? I mean, geez. Yeah, uh, not wow. not us. No. Of course, not us. Not us. We wouldn't. Uh, be. I'm, I'm glad to see you guys doing so well. Like it make it makes me really happy to see. To see something creative just really flourishing, and and to watch you guys put put into it and and be smart about it, it's yeah, it, it, Thank it, you, it, man. it inspires I me. Do. I do. I I'm inspired by what this guy does, and you know I could keep saying it. He's like, "Oh, you do all the work, man." I don't. I don't. I do not. If we didn't sound this good, we would not have the guests that we have. Well, we so. might have at least one of them, but that would be it. Yeah, maybe. maybe I don't know, maybe. but see, that's just the thing. You know, right. here, here. So you're watching this video right now out on YouTube World, mm-hmm. and uh, there's like multiple cameras. This is going to be the last time. Mark my words. I promise that the video production of this podcast, it doesn't. It, it's okay, but this is not up to snuff for me. All right, it's going to be so freaking awesome here in the next couple of weeks. Like got, it's going to look better than Joe Rogan's new studio. It's Death Star. It's it's going to be awesome. And that and that is something not that, that, saying much because his new studio is kind of janky, weird looking. It is a little weird. But okay, all right. But then again, if I had a hundred million dollars thrown but, my way, but, you know, Joe Rogan, we still love you. Oh, and dude, still love you to come on our podcast. I went sure. down the rabbit hole on him again. You, t- I, I go down a lot of rabbit holes, Frankie. Yeah, it's easy to do. It is, but with this the YouTube, it's amazing. Yeah. I watched a talkie on him. It's like a twenty-minute quick thing on his upbringing and and keep, how he got to where going he did. Back to the Joe Rogan questions everything episodes, right? He did on Sci-Fi, so good. So uh Oh, where's Frankie going? Hey, if you 
guys want to see more, you need to come to the uh, Dadcast channel. Oh, you got you, know? you got seventy five percent of it though. <laughs> you got there's there's going to be some better stuff coming. I I think. I think Frankie's going to play some more songs. He is, and if not, well, you got a sneak peek at the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you recording up there still? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I hit the button for you. Oh, you did? Oh, I, you did? I, I did. did. See, that's what I'm yeah, talking about. Good. You got to be realized. Oh, so six, your oldest is 18. How old's the guy? I'm trying to skew us back into the whole dad thing. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the little guy, he's five. Five years old. I remember five. when that was five years ago. I think my lady, you were playing. I think it might have been at Howie. Was it at Howie's? Probably. I think it was. Okay. But we got you a, a baby gift. And, yes. and, and you were like, yeah. really? I'm like, why? what do you mean, was really? She, of like, course. Yes, that, that was, I remember that. Because you got us a gift for mm-hmm. our little girl, Avery, when she was born. Yep. It was almost eight years freaking I, old I now. I can't believe that. And, yeah, it's just amazing how time grows. She, uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about this on the podcast yet on any of the episodes recently, but Avery, my littlest, this one. Hi, this is Avery. Thanks for listening to my dad on DadCast. She just finished up her two-year reign as a junior Pear Blossom pageant royalty queen. And that's the first time in 100 years that that anyone could say such a thing. Because last year, the pageant was canceled because of COVID. So she got to hold on to the title for an extra year. Uh, That's how it happened. Yes, so that's how she's the only two time or the most awesome two year to come from COVID. Right? It's not a bad thing. If there's any positives, that's definitely one. That's definitely a positive. But for sure. Because there was a two year gap, we went to the new pageant, which they had last week, um, just a few days ago. It was Friday, actually. And uh, she got to crown the new queen. And she got to go up there and do a little talking and be in front of everyone. But you know, watching our kids grow up, you know they're getting bigger, but you don't realize how big they're getting so quickly until oh, yeah. you see them standing next to the girl who won it after her only two years ago. And Avery <laughs> is like a foot taller. Yeah, that was crazy. I was like, what? Did you see that picture? Yeah. Yeah. And and she was that big when she won, yeah. give or take, you know. Yeah. But it was just so cute. And that was like super duper proud moment. I mean, I did a vlog on it. And if you want to check it out, it's up there. I'll link it. Go check it out. From two years ago when she won. And I was a blubbering mess. My baby girl won. I mean, you only get one shot at this title. You're you, only oh, five yeah. year olds are allowed to enter. You can only enter once. And she won it. And I was just. Oh, so what you're God. saying is, my next baby needs to be a girl. So no, can... boy or girl. There's a queen and king. Oh, so ooh. when when Liam is five, sweet, uh, you enter him in that stuff. I'm gonna. Yeah, and so I and as far as now. I know, I am going to be a judge there until I decide not to. Perfect. So Liam is a friggin' sure in. All right, yes. wink, wink. Boom. <laughs> nudge, nudge. All right. Hashtag DadCast 2020. Hashtag King Liam 2025. 20, yeah. Yeah, 2025. Give or take. Yeah, yeah. Right? My math good? Yeah, yeah, that's good. He was born in 2020, so yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I went to public school. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's it's just it's crazy. Crazy how, how quick they grow. And gosh, you know, you got a kid who's in the freaking army. You got a yeah. kid who's 18. Mine's just starting to drive. Man. Uh, it's, and the youngest seven. It is weird. It's it's so weird. Like going from like my kids, my youngest is now, or it's 10 months old, but my youngest before that's 13 now. Yeah. Oh, wow. So just like seeing, you know, that progression, I was almost done. And <laughs> right. so now I've got like starting over. We're going in for. He's getting, I, he's having two more. We're going for IVF. We're doing. A, really? Yeah. Starting next month or. No, starting May. So okay. We're going to do it. Oh, that's why you missed uh, the Dustin's yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember we hearing about that. The, I checked, I, the, the pre yeah. thing, making sure everything's good to go and everything's good to go. So we're going to film that, document it. It'll be on the DadCast YouTube channel. Cool. Um, man, maybe we'll sell it to travel or Netflix or something. Who knows? Whatever. <laughs> You, know, you hear you gotta, us? You, you got Netflix. Pay, those, pay for those babies somehow. Don't so, worry. Right? The production value is going to be a whole heck of a lot better. I promise. I that's, keep saying that. That's right. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, man. No, my coccyx hurts, you guys. My tailbone. My coccyx. Well, what? Right. <laughs> what, Nick? <laughs> what are you, a child? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. You're going to make me say it. No, don't say it. Gonna... Don't do it. <laughs> don't say it, man. <laughs> don't do I'm, it. We've been doing so good. I was just talking about my coccyx, <laughs> my tailbone. It's sore. 
Oh, it's all Nick. right. We'll get you a softer chair. I'm sorry, Frankie. I appreciate. I, I I think I need to sit on one of those one of those the little donut. Yeah, I know. I, on my fat, my Why stomach. Did you say your ass hurts. <laughs> my ass hurts right now. Because it's not my ass. It's my tailbone. Well, it's my tailbone, but it's my ass. You know, I I need <laughs> I need a pillow. <laughs> I think this is what happens when you get over forty. It's like, fun to say coccyx. I'm sorry. That's your whole all. Body starts falling apart. Well, I just I just like watch, watching people's faces. <laughs> right, <did you>? But see, <laughs> but this poor guy gets triggered, man. Four if, episodes it, prior, <laughs> we were all over. Some yeah, it's, we spent stuff. ten minutes. We're not going to say it because we're trying to okay. make an active right. effort right. to be a little bit cleaner uh, for this. Tony, guys, I'm a good Christian man because here. Because we uh, keep your coccyx to yourself. <laughs> 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 oh, no. See, I didn't even have to bring the trumpet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good stuff. I needed more laughs today. Okay. I've laughed a whole bunch today. Today has been an incredibly amazing day, man. We've recorded more podcasts in a single day than we ever done. I've got to listen to live music. I got a bunch of. Is the camera stopping? No, it's well, maybe. It's Hit the red button, dude. Red button. Yeah, that's the record button. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Stop looking at my face and start looking at the table. Oh, well, hand it to me. Let's see what we got here. It's all right. The beauty of this is we're under no rules. Yeah. Right. There's nothing going on. You can edit out whatever you want to. Yeah, exactly. Now we're going to flip it back oh, over to you. Hello. And now we're going to flip it back over to me. And it's it's still recording. Okay. It's good. You just saw a little bit right there. There we go. Um, Frankie, I have yeah, a request. Surely. Can you play part of that song? Babylon that I love. I'll try. We'll, is, see, we'll see how this goes. So let me just tell you, Rudd, let me back story. Uh, I, I told you about how I loved Frankie back in the day, and, and, and every time for a while there, he'd do a show. Um, I wasn't a father yet. I was partying, drinking, going out every night, and Frankie was also playing lots of places very frequently here in Southern Oregon, and I kind of felt like a miniature version of following the dead when it came to JP following <laughs> Frankie Hernandez. And this one song, I don't know why this particular song, cool song stuck with me, and it's stuck with me ever since. And the last time you may have played it, I asked you to play it when we did an interview on uh, 95.7 KBOI. And uh, now I'm asking you to play it again for everyone on DadCast. You don't have to play the whole thing. Okay. I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll, I'll play into that, though, I, oh. I'm trying to remember the first time I met Frankie. And I think it was I was doing a, sh a show with the Toys and Tripolar, which is uh, Craig Montoya from Everclear, mm -hmm. his side band. It was a Halloween show at Ashland. I thought you opened for that one. It was a uh, St. Paddy's Day show. Oh, St. Paddy's Day. And I did, right. I did yeah, open. Yeah. It was, yeah, that, because we had that, the Toys. We had Tripolar. You put from, that on together? Yeah, that, that was my. That Dude, was me. Dude, thank you so much for having me. That, yeah. That show changed my career here. Really? Yeah, because because when you met me, like I I came st straight straight to town. Uh, I started working actually because I moved here because of my daughter. Being a dad brought me here. Okay. I was living in Los Angeles and I had a, a working band. We played for for Ben Harper's ex wife patio party. Oh wow! We had uh, I I had um I had had gigs like I was writing I was writing for people with demo deals on Hollywood Records and. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did. I played in a video shoot in uh, Rod Stewart's jazz orchestra, uh, like like infomercial. And <laughs> so those are the kind of gigs that, right. that I was finally, after living in LA for five years, getting. Right. Uh, but my ex-wife was moving up here with my daughter, who was just born a little bit before that. And mm -hmm. I just, it, the worst part would be at two, three a.m. You know, sitting there with a pretty good buzz and and buzz on alcohol and whatever it was else fun to do, and 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 just living this LA life, and then I'd be miserable. Like, oh my god, like where, yeah. where is my daughter? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I came up here, and I heard it was hard to get a job, and I knew one person that used to work at Musician's Friend, which was now Guitar Center, uh -huh. and and I went there, and it's and I, I got a job. So I said, okay, I'm moving here, and. Uh, Pretty much immediately, I started playing with the T Club. And yeah, I started a lot of stuff with the T Club. So, and but I'm pr I'm pretty sure though there was the that, toys. no, but and, yeah. and so and then I got a residency there at the Osprey. I okay, played every right. Wednesday night, yeah, yeah. which which is where I built the Frankie Hernandez band from. That might have been where I met you at yeah. the Osprey. Oh yeah, yeah. That place was so cool. It, it was it was really cool. That I mean, I wish I could remember every more version of it, of it <laughs> since yeah. then has been pretty cool too. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh -huh. and then uh and I always felt like man I just don't feel like anyone knows who I am and and I don't did I reach out to you and and say, I think it was Mog 
Montoy okay. that was like, hey, it's Frankie, you've got to get Frankie to open. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah. Because I'm sure it was you, got you, Frankie, her, or uh, the toys, and then Tripolar, which was Craig from Everclear. Okay. And Greg, the, the drummer from Everclear at the time. Yeah, and it, it was St. Patty's Day, and yeah. we, we played that show, and then I did an after party over at, at the Siskiyou. So, yeah, something like that, yeah. And, and it was... And then yeah, ever since then, like we and then from that the tea club. from yeah. that day on, like the Frankie Hernandez band yeah. has it was something that people knew about, right? Yeah, uh, that was a huge show, it was Armory, and like it was just that was crazy. And I was a big Toys fan. Yeah, and, isn't uh, that cool getting to play? Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, I got I got to open for the uh, the specials when they came through there. Oh wow, very uh, cool. Or or was it the English beat? No, it was the English beat. Oh, and I got to open mirror in the bathtub. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been we've I've done so many cool shows. Vanilla Ice, I, yeah, I did that wow. one back in the day. That was wow. crazy, and uh, yeah, that's so. one my kids love. <laughs> Who doesn't love Vanilla oh, Ice? That was wink, not, wink, nudge, bad. nudge. Come on, the dad cast. I'm working on it, actually. <laughs> Are you really? I am really. Dude, who yeah. aren't you working on? Can you? Because I think that list will be shorter. <laughs> there's, there's nobody. And see, as soon yeah. as you hit it, you're gonna you're gonna yeah, work so on that. So Vanilla Ice story. Funny thing about that. Yeah. <laughs> ended up he stayed here for like two days after that show. Like we ended up. So my buddy was doing security. We ended up partying with him for like two days here. It was wow, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I, I'm ever been in a position where I feel like I could support Vanilla Ice's party for two days. I, I don't even know how it happened. Okay. Like, it was just crazy. It wasn't the 80s. I think it was okay. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Well, there we go. Tour bus, Vanilla Ice, and, you know. Uh, Things that cannot be said exactly. or mentioned a lot yeah, on a dad yeah. cast. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was going through the verbiage, and I'm like, party? Vanilla Ice, yeah. I'm pretty oh. sure Ninja Turtle showed up at one point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about that song, Frankie? Okay. Come on, we're about running out of time, and I gotta hear it live, man. I gotta. All right, we'll, we'll do our we'll do our absolute very best. Oh God, I love this. Here we go. I'm impressed. If I get this, I think I got it. Every day we dance, dance around Babylon. Every day we dance, dance, dance. In the darkness we hold the candle. Even if it's too hot to handle, we dance, dance around. Woke up with my shoes on again Remote control in my hand Dreams fed by television Watching the news for the clues Of what's really happening We're warriors of love are marching Every day we dance Dance around Babylon Every day we dance Dance Yeah, there it is. So good. Thank you, Frankie Hernandez. Well, there, there's that little rap section that comes next, and I'm like, uh, I no, I no, no, it's okay. That, I just wanted that chorus I, anyway. I won't make it. <laughs> Stay on target. That pretty much does it for this episode of the podcast. Our time is up with Frankie Hernandez. Frankie, man, thank you for coming on, man. We appreciate yeah, you. you we love you. We uh, would love to have you back on again in the very near future if that is something you would be interested in. I would in. love to do this again. Yeah. yeah thank you, man. Th have th a, like a follow-up on oh, what happens with the Kickstarter and everything. Yeah, I, I forgot sure. to tell you guys. Um, so, you know, being a dad, I wake up, I make breakfast every morning for everybody. And, uh, you know, one day I, I got – I live in the country, and so I had right. – they have ducks and had some duck eggs, and, and one fell off the table, and it quacked. <laughs> The dad joke. There it is. <laughs> well, I came, I came prepared. That's, I'm proud of you because well, we forgot earlier today, well, and see, I forgot just now. Here, here's here's the secret. Okay, we we. Why are you still laughing? Joke's over, man. What Stop happened? it. The the thing is with the dad jokes, we actually save that to be uh, 
if we're starting to run out of content or we feel like we don't have questions or it's just not flowing for whatever particular reason, we were going to go to, okay, tell us a dad joke. <laughs> but so far now, we're at three episodes we haven't had to do that. Um, so that's saying something good. Yeah. And thank you for telling a dad joke. That was a great It one. wasn't necessary because this whole episode has been absolutely amazing, but I don't think the episode would have been what it was if you didn't quack us up. That, oh. boom, boom. <laughs> 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 and that is it for this episode of the dad cast. Make sure you tune in for more amazing episodes coming up in the future. Once again, Frankie Hernandez, singer, songwriter, amazing dad. Thank you for hanging out and joining us on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me. Best of luck to you guys. I Thank hope you. your success continues to grow. We appreciate it, man. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to dad cast. See y'all next week.